Hi, and welcome back to the Archive Repair Test video series. Today we're going to be looking at a pinball machine and uh, we're going to do what's called a shop on it. Uh, we're going to replace a lot of the rubbers and the rings and give it a good cleaning and some light bulbs. Uh, the first thing we want to talk about though is that in order to work on a pinball game you're going to need to know how to open it up. And no matter if they're 30 years old or brand new, they all operate a lot of the same ways. Inside the front door is a lever. You pull that over and that unlocks the lock bar like this. So you move this lever and then this comes up. To put it back in, you place it down and then move the lock bar back over. So again, lever, then remove the lock bar. And once the lock bar is off, I usually put it up under the machine so I don't step on it several times. You can slide the plate of the on. If you're ever replacing playfield glass, you want to make sure that you buy or get tempered glass. You can get this locally, but if you'll do a little research on the net, sometimes it's cheaper buying it from some pinball guys than just having it shipped. So, um, not a good thing to replace, make sure you use tempered glass. We're also going to remove the back glass. The way we do that is there's a key on the side in this particular model. You turn the key and you lift up the back glass, like so. Being very careful with this. We don't want to have to repair any more than we want to, or have to, I should say. But this allows us to get to the back glass. That's where we find a lot of little bulbs. do not look like too many of these are out. In a little bit, we'll go into the test mode and turn all the lamps on so we'll know exactly which lights are out. But then you lift up the sides here. And that gives us access to the motherboards, power supply, and so forth. Uh, this one has been upgraded, has a newer board in it, but sometimes the game doesn't come on, which is a very common problem with these connectors up here, and we're going to recrimp and add a connector to that, uh, add some new pins to that. So anyway, uh, stay tuned, we'll be shooting, we'll be right back. Okay, now that we've got the glass off, we're ready to start the actual shopping. Uh, one of the very first things that we need to do uh, is to remove all of the plastic pieces. Uh, number one, we're going to clean those while they're off, off of here. Uh, the second thing is a lot of the lights and stuff are underneath them so that we can actually get to the bulbs and then we can replace all the rubber rings. Uh, we bought our rubber ring kit from Pinball Resource. Um, they will make just about any kind, kind of, all I did was tell them the, the game and the manufacturer, I needed KISS Pinball Rubber Ring Set. And they sent us a whole set, has all these, and uh, it like every time I get one from them, it's always complete, usually with an extra or two. So thank you guys for doing that. So that's what we'll start off now, is removing all the plastics. If you're not sure, this game is pretty simple. We're gonna be working on a whitewater this afternoon and it's got a lot of plastic. So the, one of the best things to do is take a digital camera and take pictures of where everything was. And then you can bring it up on your laptop or you can print out a page and then you can see. Also, you can go to the internet and look at another pinball game. But uh, by all means, I don't think we'll lose where this stuff is going. Um, also, keep up with all your little parts. It's handy to have a little bucket or something around We'll put all these parts in, that way uh, we're going to need some of them when we go to put it back on. Now these plastics are in pretty good shape. They do reproduce a lot of the plastics, but one thing that I've seen a lot of times is they will be warped. And um, if you do a little research, it's not really hard, you can actually put these in the oven I like it about on some wax paper, about 300 degrees, and it will take out some of that warping. So cook them for a little bit. Now that we've got most of the plastics removed, 
Um, we can look underneath, there's the light bulbs, here's the rubber rings, and we'll bring out that stuff in our kit. Okay, now that we've got all the plastics off, and we removed all, lots of the old rubber, rubber rings, uh, some of them looked okay, some of them just fell apart. Just get rid of them, throw away all of them, let's just replace everything while we're in here. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and clean it. Um, there's a lot of different cleaners out there. I've tried many of them. We're going to highly recommend the brand Novus. You can get this from Hap Controls. Just about all your pinball uh, retailers sell this. Uh, you're not going to find it much local though, so you're going to need to do some search on the internet. Um, there's numbers on the Novus. This is a number three. It's for really heavy scratches. And this is a number two. Um, I'm feeling the weight of the bottles. We use number two a lot. Uh, we will use a little bit of number three. Be careful with it. Uh, this stuff is great for plexiglass also. So, um, but they also make a number one. But to be honest, it's basically a glass cleaner. And it's a lot cheaper to buy a whole can of cleaner at Dollar General or Walmart or somewhere. So we just buy the three and the two. And usually extra bottles of the two because we're going to use that the most. It's pretty simple. All that you need to do is put a little bit and kind of drip it on the play field. And everywhere you see that, treat this like a wax. In other words, you're going to really push it in there. But uh, maybe we'll get a close up here in a minute. You can see this area that I've cleaned. It, it's a kind of a liquid, uh, kind of gritty but uh, we'll look in here and especially some of this area right here in this black um, just really rub it in good and then it'll it'll dry uh, and it'll harden kind of like a wax you can come back and buff but while it's wet is a good time to just general do some scrubbing with it uh, I'm right now I'm using a terry kind of cloth you can get this Dollar General, just about any any place. You don't want a cloth with a lot of strings or something that are going to get up in there. This terry cloth works just fine for this. Um, another thing that we use a lot of is a magic eraser. Uh, if you've never, if you're not familiar with Mr. Clean's magic eraser, let me tell you, it will clean a playfield almost too good at times. You have to watch that you're not. Um, getting too hard on there after eventually they'll start taking off paint but remember this stuff will start to harden kind of becomes like a wax so you'll need to watch areas where it's going into so that it doesn't get into the electronic parts and might make them stick or so forth but if you can zoom in right or look right here on the play field where we clean this area right here and this looking really black and really shiny and then you look up here where it's real dusty and hasn't been cleaned yet. So very good stuff to use. Like I said, we'll start off with the three. And then we're just going to clean part of the area right now. Then we'll come back with this two. And then um, a lot of people use the Novus one. Um, I've just found that glass cleaning works just as well. When I get through, I'll come back and usually do that. Then we get all through, we're going to put a coat of wax, just like uh, carnauba wax or something like turtle wax. We'll wax a play field, we'll buff it, we'll come back, wax it. We'll usually do that about three or four, sometimes five times, depending on the play field. And uh, then it'll, it'll play and look so much better. We'll have a clean game too, which always adds to the looks and the playability of the game.